MAX7219 is a cheap and simple shift register based LED matrix controller chip used in all kinds of small digital display applications. The IC is used to drive a simple 8x8 LED matrix or an 8-digit LED segmented display. It uses a simple one-way SPI protocol and these can be daisy chained together if you want to create a larger display. They can be purchased for just a couple bucks on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, or your favorite electronic shop. I bought two for six dollars on Amazon in kit form and it was really easy to solder them together. When used to drive a matrix, the eight registers are simply bitmapped to the display. Registers 1 to 8 correspond to the rows from the top to bottom, while the bits 7 to 0 correspond to the columns left to right. Numerical segments are ordered counterclockwise from top left, plus a decimal point. You can use the LED matrix with Marlin to display real-time information that wouldn't be possible to show in the serial console, at least not without disrupting the print process. To use one of these displays in Marlin, first connect the device to your main driver board. You'll need five pins, preferably close together. 5 volt and ground to power the unit, a CS load line to put the chip in command mode, plus data in, which is MOSI, and clock lines for clocking out bits from the shift register. Once you've decided on the pins, enable MAX7219 debug in configuration ADV.h and set the pin numbers. Flash Marlin to your board and the display should come up when the board restarts. If all goes well, you'll see a quick animation test. You can disable the animation test to save a little flash, or set the option to 2 for spiral animation instead. By default, the display is oriented with the wires on the left. If you prefer a different orientation, you can set the rotate option to any value from minus 270 up to plus 270 in increments of 90 degrees. So here's 0, 90, 180, and minus 90 or 270. By default, Marlin shows four pieces of information on the display. In the bottom right corner is an alive indicator which flashes once per second. There's a bar to show the number of moves currently in the planner buffer. There's a pair of LEDs to indicate the current head and tail in the planner ring buffer. These items can be configured and disabled by setting or commenting out these sub-options. The planner buffer options assume the buffer size will be set to the default size of 16 moves, which you most likely won't ever need to change. In a ring buffer, the head is the next position where a move will be added, while the tail is the next move that will be done. As each move completes, the tail of the ring buffer moves up. If the planner queue is full and more moves are waiting in the G-code buffer, the head will move up too. Marlin waits till there's room in the ring buffer before it adds new moves. In a normal print job, the planner buffer should be pretty much full all the time, but if you're doing a lot of short moves, as in a curve or when printing fast on a delta bot, it's possible for the buffer to become starved, and this is what leads to stuttering. So as you can see here, although the ring buffer is 16 blocks long, and most of it will contain 15 moves, this is because the buffer is considered empty when the head and tail are the same, that's considered full when the head is 15 ahead, or one behind the tail. Marlin has two options for displaying the ring buffer head and tail. If you set them to display on separate lines, by default 3 and 5, they're shown as a pair of LEDs across these two sets of rows. If you set them to display on the same row, they're drawn in a continuous line from tail to head. The tail to head display can be used as an alternative to the buffer size, since it conveys the same information, opening up more space on the display. At this point, these are all the available options, but you can add your own by modifying the code. For example, you could add a progress bar, thermometers, or just flash LEDs randomly to mimic an old computer. I haven't figured out where I want to mount mine yet, but I plan to put them on all my printers. They're really handy for displaying low-level, real-time information. What would you use an LED matrix for? Add your comments below. I've included links in the description for more sources of information. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on all things Marlin. Keep on printing, and I'll see you in cyberspace.